calming, melancholic, euphoric. It brings all the feels. But what's actually happening with our brain and body as we listen? Music starts as vibrating air or sound waves that float along the ear canal, rumble our eardrum and tickle the cochlea in our inner ear, where they're converted into electrical signals for the brain. Then the party really gets going. A fireworks display of sensory and emotional activation. Central to this party vibe is the arrival of the neurochemical dopamine, mm. which boosts pleasure, mood, and motivation. Yeah. As for the types of music that do this, well, that's usually music that you love. Anything from Mozart to Megadeth. But there are definitely some hottest hits. Debussy's Claire de Lune. Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings. And J.S. Bach's first cello suite have all been crowned as evidence-based bliss for the brain. It's not just all in your head though. Music also affects the body. It can help you shift from a state of fight and flight to rest and digest. And back again. It even has the power to synchronize our heartbeats and breathing when we're listening to live music together. Mm. And the right kind of music has you feeling the love, literally. It promotes the release of oxytocin, the love or bonding hormone, which can also help you physically heal faster. When it comes to supporting mental health and well-being, music can help treat mood disorders, reduce anxiety symptoms and counter loneliness, connecting us to people and places by tapping into powerful memories. So if you've ever been part of a rapt audience at a Rachmaninoff symphony, relaxed to Nat Barch in the bath, or just done the dishes to Debordia, deep down you'll already know how the simple act of listening can be pretty great at making you feel good. From hormone highs to fireworks in the brain. Our next performance is short.